I'm Tracy Lair in for Scott Hennessy this evening. Thanks for joining us. Overdose prevention efforts are underway in Isla Vista. That's where the unsanctioned party known as Deltopia is on tap this weekend. Guess what? We're going to probably save a life today. This Deltopia Isla Vista Narcan distribution effort kicked off in Walter Capps Park. A 21 year old UCSB junior from Monterey died of an apparent fentanyl overdose during Deltopia last year. I called his, both of his parents and had to have that call and um, it just right then and there I thought okay what can we do so that next year isn't the same and that's what came out of this partnering with the students so we're hitting every every household. Volunteers went door to door along Del Playa Drive where Deltopia takes place on the first weekend after spring break. They also handed out pamphlets dedicated to cliff fall victims with information about the eroding oceanfront balconies that gave way during recent storms. Students seem receptive to the safety information and the Narcan giveaway. I think it's just so important here. I mean, the amount of times I've walked through Delt um, through this area at night and seen people passed out, like on the floor, I think it's really important just in case. First responders say if you think someone's overdosed and you give them Narcan, they still need to go to the hospital. So just because you give the Narcan doesn't mean that they woke up and now they're okay. You still need to go to the hospital. Um, there's a lot of prescription opiates that are made to be long duration drugs. So say you wake someone up with Narcan, they think they're fine, they refuse to go. They could re-overdose in a few hours. Since the street party that began as Flotopia has a reputation for getting out of control, there are alternative happenings, including a spring festival at Little Acorn Park on Saturday. The goal of all the outreach is to keep the weekend safe and fun.